Hi guys, Jason here from Lowen Roads. Check out what we've got in stock today. It's a brand new 2023 Swift Escape 640. If you're interested in this motorhome or any of the others that you see on the channel, hop over to our website, lowenroads.co.uk. On there, you'll find full details and information on how to purchase the vehicles. Now back to this Swift Escape 640. This is a hard motorhome to come by. I know we won't have this one for very long. This was actually a cancelled order, this motorhome that we're looking at now, that was placed in February of last year, 2022. So if you're interested, do let us know sooner than later because it won't be with us for very long. Now you'll notice this is on the Fiat Decato. Engine wise, it's 2.2 litre. 140 brake horsepower and this is a nine speed automatic it weighs in at three and a half ton and it's seven meters front to back color wise you've got the iron gray metallic on the front and that merges nicely onto the back to the swift escape decals wheel wise you've got the five spoke black and silver fiat alloys there check that out Now on the inside, you've got this beautiful golden beige sand stylings. This is a four berth, four travel seats. You've got the electric drop down bed at the top, which I'm going to get to in a minute. And behind me, we've got a kitchen and your boutique washroom and a shower. But we'll start at the front and work our way back. So, as we just said, it's a Fiat Decato, 2.2 litre, 140 brake horsepower, nine speed manual. You've got the touchscreen entertainment system here. This is Bluetooth enabled, DAB radio, and Apple CarPlay also. You've got aircon down here. Above the top, you've got privacy blinds that just pull up like so. You've got that on the front windscreen and of course your sides as well for privacy of an evening or whenever suits you. You've got dual captain swivel seats here. Both sides turn around facing the lounge area opening it up quite a bit in the lounge you've got these dual long side bunks on each side with a table in the middle now it's a nice spacious lounge in here as you can see and fit and sitting in here you really feel it to the top right there on that panel that would be your bracket for your television that you'd pop just on there now this table here, you'll notice this lever underneath here. If you pull that up, you can move it and twist it to sort of suit your needs as you wanted to and suit who's sitting at the table for dinner. It is electrical above the kitchen here for drop down and lift up to give you more knee space. Now this is a four berth. So you've got your electric bed at the top and down below here, this folds out into a bed. Essentially, you fold the table over, you electronically drop it down onto these holding spots here. That works as a support in the center. You fold each bed down, pull the bunks out from the bottom, put those at the back of it, making it a double bed from here, square. So you've got a nice size double bed here. You've also got two tra uh, travel seats underneath these. So again, you've got a small lever here. You open the cushions up, you twist that, it pops up like so. One facing forward this side, one facing forward on that side, making it two at the front, two at the sides here, traveling for perfect. We have got photos of that on our website on the full post, if that's something you wanted to see, and also the bed made up. On the top, We've got this electronic drop-down bed, which I'm gonna show you. 
Now, alongside the control panels here and the Truma heating panels, you've got this which controls the bed. Make sure it's unlocked. Press this, just like that, this slides down. Now, when we show people around drop down beds, they usually ask us height options. You do have your ladders underneath here that clip onto these two points. When you pop the ladders on, it sits at that sort of height. So you're climbing up on the bed. And the idea of that is functionally, if you had both beds out, the one at the bottom at the top, it's gonna to work as a, a double bunk bed. Now, some people ask if it will go lower. We have got show, photos again on the website of it going lower. But to demonstrate to you now, it'll pop down to this height, which is, you know, around waist height. So if you wanted to go all the way, if there was just two people using the double bed at the top, you could sort of, from hip heist, just turn around and you're not climbing on there, you know, quite as high, if that makes sense. You've got the double duvalet mattress here, sunlight up at the top. You'll notice you've got a USB point just above there where that black plastic pop out is so you've got USB points on both sides of the bed you've got your lights at the end and a USB point uh, pardon me a three pin plug just over at the top of the driving seat and we'll pop that back up here is all your information for your television so you'd stick a bracket on there giving you a television for your living space so that's now back up the top you'll see here and I'll move on into the kitchen. Now, of course, we've got the Thetford oven and grill combination in here. On the top, you've got the three cooking hobs and electronic hot plate. You've got your sink in here, some storage below. You can pop this over the sink, covering the top. You've got the fitted microwave. This is an extra, but it's already been you know fit here of course and you can pop this up giving you more kitchen space now opposite to me you'll see we've got the fridge nice long fridge freezer up top and this does open both ways with a nice functionality above here We've got the control panel. This is the TV aerial. This motorhome does have a solar panel. And now we're moving on to the, the bathroom. Now we've got this privacy door, which you can slide across here, sectioning the rear of the motorhome off completely, and then sliding it back if you wish. Now we've got the boutique bathroom, a separate toilet, to the large, generously sized shower here. Lovely width on the kitchen side here. The, <laughs> the bathroom sink side, should I say. With your sink, mirror up top. Some more storage here for your bathroom bits and bobs. Going under to the shower, it's got this incredibly stylish marble wall effect in here on both sides and then a little holder for your shampoo bottles above the top if you a little bar that slides down this would work as a, a drying rack and a towel holder just here now we've got this great big mirror on the back which if you open it check that out how awesome is that a great big storage wardrobe on the back rail on the top and this goes you know this goes quite deep perhaps half a meter or so and underneath here you've got a hatch which leads into the garage which i'm going to show you in a second so that's a very well thought out feature on the 640 and when you pack it away it's incredibly stylish and you wouldn't really know it was there. So that's the inside of this 640. Going on to the outside now, I'll just show you. 
as we mentioned you've got the iron grey metallic on the Fiat front which merges through into the Swift Escape decals you've got dual opening garage here so you've got this side which opens it's a nice side you've got some toe down straps here you've got your cushions unopened bolster cupboards an armrest to go in the social area You've got lights in the back of the in the garage as well as you've got the blow air heating that goes through rear of the motorhome you get the options to stick a bike rack on there should you wish as well as reverse camera and then on the other side you've got a nice tall door so it helps if you've got a bit of variety when you're going in there i think this will be a little bit more helpful with bikes we've got the gas compartment just there and that's where you pop your water in so this is the Swift Escape 640. It's a 2023, it's available now. If you're interested, hop over to the website, drop a comment below and get in touch. Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned. We've got plenty of new stock coming in real soon. Thanks.